Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul the truth lies within, and now we're doing the recording of 26th day of March. So, in this recording, Supreme God Father in this blessing says that may your feelings be filled with knowledge and your yoga be filled with love. So, knowledge and love together brings us closer to God. Let's find out what else does He want us to do over here. Baba says in the blessing. May your feelings be filled with knowledge and your yoga be filled with love and experience the flying stage and become equal to the Father. Those who are yogi souls, God says, and embodiments of knowledge, that means those who are meditating on God or are in complete connection with God, they never forget that God is a companion. So if we are in a good company, pure company, powerful company, our thoughts and our words and our actions will be pure, just like a hero actions will be improving every single day because we are in the company of God and our acts will also show how God is. So what kind of souls we are? We are those souls who are doing the hero part but are we filled with love? Supreme God says those who are yogi souls and embodiments of knowledge constantly experience all powers and become victorious. Victorious in every task even if a situation comes, they don't use negative traits, but they use positive traits. Those who are just loving embodiments of feelings constantly have Baba, Baba in their minds. Father, Father. Because Supreme God Father or Paramatma is a Father. And on their lips. And this is how they receive cooperation from time to time. However, in order to become equal, Jnani and Yogi souls, what do you have to do? In order to become knowledgeable, Jnani doesn't mean who can read the complete scriptures and just speak it out. No, Jnani means somebody who walks the path, who is humble, who has got those traits of qualities and also who has got wisdom of how to face the situation. And yogi souls, you have to be close and this is why, close to whom? The Supreme Being. And this is why you have to have the feelings and be embodiments of knowledge to the same extent. So it's not just that we have knowledge, but we don't have love for God because God gives us knowledge. And when we get the knowledge, we feel love for God. So both the things go together. The world has separated Bhakti Yoga and Gyan Yoga separately. But here we're talking about Bhakti along with Gyan. They go together. You cannot hate your teacher in your classroom and study the subject nicely or pass within it, right? You, if you love the teacher who's standing in front of you and writing on the blackboard or if you love the teacher the way she explains her behavior her way of talking or his way of talking or his behavior then you will love the subject too isn't it so so you can have love for the teacher and not want the knowledge no it doesn't happen you have love for the teacher respect for the teacher and then knowledge then they together are used then it is very powerful so that's why God says however in order to become equal Gyani and Yogi souls you have to be close and this is why you have to have the feelings and be embodiments of knowledge to the same extent feelings filled with knowledge yoga filled with love having a balance for the two will give you the experience of the flying stage and make you equal to the father so knowledge and feelings Yoga, that means meditate on God with love. Not just I am a soul, he is soul. I am a point of light, he is a point of light. I am a soul who belongs to the Brahma Lok, he lives in the Brahma Lok. No, that is just talking to somebody who is talking very professionally. But we have to talk with love with Supreme Being. That's what we learn over here. Bhakti Yoga with knowledge combined. It's very powerful. How do you do that? How do you meditate on the Supreme Being, the Supreme Creator is what we learn in the 7 day course. You too can go ahead and take the 7 day course at Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University with this Om Shanti.